Hi everybody. Good morning. Bright and early. <laughs> this is early for me to get on a live. So I made it. Yay. Um, I hope you guys are all doing good. I need to caffeinate myself. I'm super tired this morning. I didn't sleep great. It's fine. I'll get a nap today. Almost lunchtime. I know, Annette, isn't that funny? It's only nine o'clock here. I've only been awake for two hours. Good morning, good morning. Yay. I like getting on earlier sometimes just because it is better for some people. Somebody was saying it was like 4 p.m. where they were at, and I'm like, oh. So I like to do all different times of days. Um, I do have good news. My embroidery machine, my Recoma that I got, um, I finally got a file digitized that I want to put on baseball caps for uh, Nashville SME. And um, I'm going to try and get that loaded and film that today. I'm super excited to do that if I can remember how to use it and all the steps. So it may take me a bit, but I hope to have some embroidery um, videos uh, coming up soon. I'm excited. Yay, I am good. Bangladesh, hello. Still drinking coffee. Yeah, I'm not a big coffee drinker. I'm a big V8 drinker. Um, yeah. 5 p.m., yeah, see? It works great for some people. So, if you guys caught the live I did with Leslie from Jolie Lee Creations, what was that, two days ago? We made clear and jelly, um peekaboo bags, that pattern from Mormino. It's a super cute little zipper pouch, great makeup travel bag. Um, so I have all of this jelly and clear vinyl and my triplet nieces came over. They saw the bag. They're like, we want one, please. And so, and Charlotte and my, my sister-in-law, they all wanted a bag. And I'm like, you know what? I'm just going to cut a bunch out and just do some like, um, factory line sewing. I'm just going to make a bunch of peekaboos. I have them all sitting here cut out. I have the zippers. I've got the poles. I should be able to hopefully pump these out and maybe put a couple on the website too, because I've had people asking if I'm selling them on the website. So, um, that's what we're doing. Was it hard to digitize? Um, you know what? I was in desperate need of this one. And so I finally just sent it to Z digitizing and they brought it back to me within a day, all done. And it was only 20 bucks. Pretty awesome. I probably won't learn to digitize files myself because I hear it is quite the learning curve and kind of hard. So I probably won't learn the digitizing side of it. I will just hire people. It's worth my money. It's worth my time. All that kind of stuff. So hi, Pammy from SoCal. Hi, Stacy from Atlanta, drinking a Diet Coke, uh-huh. I'm still, Diana says, I'm still trying to adjust my tension to so clear and jelly. Tighten it up. Tighten it, tighten it, tighten it. Like crazy tighten it. Um, I am using, so I've already started. Last night I started doing these two just because I wanted to get these ones out of the way. And I use these cute little um, Heartwood and High tags she sent me a while ago. They say positive vibes only. They're super cool. Um, and I'm using variegated thread. I don't know if you can see it. It's like purples from Wizardry. It's text 80. So it's a little bit heavier than what I usually use. But it seems to be okay on my machine. I haven't had any issues with it. I know for some people, you're going to have to adjust your bobbin if you go up and down and wait for your thread. So just be aware of that. So I'm going to finish up these two cute little ones. I've got my zippers all here prepped, ready to go. And then we'll just kind of, I'm going to try and do the triplets bags first and get those out of the way and Charlotte's, what, which I forget which one Charlotte wanted. Um, and then we'll see where we're at. I may get them all done. I may not. I think I have five, six, seven, eight, like 10 cut out. I probably won't get through all of them. Okay. Loving my new threads. Lisa, I'm so glad. Hi, Patty. 
with someone that fast, it's totally worth it. It is, Annette. I was just like, yeah. Vic, Vic, what is that? Vitor? Vitor digitizing is awesome too. That's good. That's good to know. Oh, Renee, I should have. Yeah, duh. Renee, you're the one I should have gone to. <laughs> I should have asked you about all that. That's good to know. Digitizing, Jenna, is for um, embroidery files. You can't just use a regular PDF file for embroidery. It has to be set to the stitches, which is called, you have to digitize it. Um, it's quite the process. So yeah. Oh, thank you, Renee. Renee answered you. Stacy, I hope to see you in Tennessee and hope you bring your variegated thread and hot pink Leslie. Absolutely. I also have um, zipper tape to match my hot pink Leslie. And there's hot pink Leslie right there. Hi, Leslie. All right, here we go. We're caffeinating. Marley May just entered the room. Hi, Marley. Hi, baby. She just got groomed. She looks, she looks pretty funny. <laughs> okay, here we go. Yep, speak her name and she appears. All right, let's do some sewing, ladies and gentlemen, and everybody here, all the peoples. Let's do this. All right, I have figured out um, if I cut my zipper to 14 and a fourth, and then measure one inch down and do the whole turn and put a zipper tab on the end, that works perfect for this peekaboo bag. So those are the measurements I'm using for this zipper. <clears throat> All right. Oh, do you see her at the door, guys? Let me see her sitting there. Marley, what are you doing? What are you doing, baby? <laughs> I think Oakley, I gave them a couple of bones, and I think Oakley took both of them per usual. Okay, <laughs> here we go. <laughs> She looks so skinny. I know Karen, when she has all her fluff, she's only 10 pounds. She's just a little thing, maybe 11 now. I think she's gained weight since we got Oakley, but um, she really is only just a tiny little, little girl. So anyways, I did, since I'm doing this text um, 80 variegated thread, I did go to a size 20 needle, so. I did go up in my needle for that. And I haven't decided how I'm gonna do all these bags, if I'm just gonna do one at a time, because I think I'm gonna wanna use different color threads for different bags, so I may just do one set of bags at a time. <clears throat> Would this pattern work on a domestic machine? Yes. It is domestic machine friendly. I made quite a few of these when I first really started getting into it on my domestic machine and it works great. So yes, yes, yes. What size needle do I normally use? I normally use an 18. I could use anywhere from 18 to a 20. It really, I mean, either of those would work, but... I went up just because this thread is just a tiny bit thicker and I just really didn't want to have any issues. <clears throat> Pammy, is anybody going to Sowcation in Palm Springs? I am not this year. It was too close to the Nashville one that I already committed to. So I couldn't, I couldn't do both weekends. I'm a little stressed about how much that needs to get done for that <laughs> coming up. It's coming up quick. I've made this pattern and turned it into a crossbody. That's awesome, Stacy. Yeah, this would make a cute little crossbody. I'm just putting a zipper tab on the other end and turning my zipper on one end. It's my favorite combo for this bag. I like it to fully open on one side. So I'm just folding over a clear piece of, well, not clear, but a piece of jelly. Hi, Kalisha. 
Good morning or afternoon, I guess, in Florida, right? You crazy, crazy Florida's peoples. All right, that may be too long. Too, no, it'll be all right. I think it'll be okay. I like doing that with zippers on pouches so they open wider too. Yeah, Karen, it's my favorite. Mm, Pammy. I don't think I will know anybody, but I will do all the shopping for everybody else. Well, the good news, Pammy, is you'll probably meet lots of friends. That's the great thing about all of these retreats and stuff is everybody's super friendly and you will make friends. Hi, Maureen. Welcome. Welcome, welcome. I promise to do a bag here soon. I just like an actual handbag. I'm just, um, my brain's a little overloaded with uh, all that needs to get done in the next two weeks. So my concentration hasn't been great. I'm gonna move this just a tiny bit where I like it. There, that's better for me. Okay, here we go. Let's put the zipper on. I'm sad. I will miss you in Tennessee. My birthday is June 30th. Well, happy birthday, Kalisha. Happy birthday. I hope you're doing something super fun. <clears throat> I am just centering up everything here and marking my centers. Doop, doop, doop. Dupe. I'm going to go ahead and do that on my other zipper too. <sighs> do you sell variegated threads 70 weight? Yes. Um, I have one variegated thread. It's called Celestia and it's a mix of five of my other thread colors. And I have it in 70 and in 45. It's really pretty. It's just a gorgeous rainbow thread. That's true, Leslie. I did just release two tutorials. I feel a little stressed that I need to have one like every other day and I really don't. I'll be okay, right? <laughs> uh. All right. How was the prom? Terry, prom was super, super fun. Good time was had by all. I had one of the best dresses there. <laughs> oh. All right, here we go. Let's put this zipper on. Oh, whoops. I'm used to basting first and adding a lining. <laughs> I need to sew at that full uh, fourth inch seam allowance. See, just getting started. I'm still half asleep. Hello, Julie. All right. Here we go. Let's do it that bigger seam allowance here. Here, Oakley chewing on a bone right outside my room. Probably the bone I gave to Marley May. My house is quiet. Kids both had sleepover. All three kids had sleepover somewhere else last night. So my house is weirdly quiet after a weekend of lots of people. All right. Did you ever post a picture of the dress? Stuff I did, it was on my stories. And then it's on my personal, um, my personal stuff, but I didn't. <laughs> I didn't post it on the Facebook group. I guess I could. <laughs> you guys want to see it. Uh, I could do that.
Okay, I'll post a picture. Some people may think I'm nuts, but I'll do it. I am a little nuts. It's true. All right, there's my first half. So I did, I did flip it over and top stitch. I kind of like that way the best for this bag. All right, let's get another one. Crystal, I'm just doing a bunch of clear and jelly peekaboo bags. Oh, bag maker. 238, thank you very much. She says, I just saw it on Instagram post. You look beautiful. Thank you. I appreciate that. It was fun. <laughs> All right. These vinyls kind of stick together. That's okay. Here we go. Let's do it. <laughs> you are not nuts, just fun. Thank you, Barb. <laughs> I appreciate that. <laughs> All right, full we'll seam allowance. The zipper does tend to want to slide when you're sewing it to this clear vinyl. So I just kind of hold it in place with my stiletto and it helps quite a bit. My layers are just sticking together. Stick right there. <clears throat> Crystal, loving the fabric combo. Thank you. You should see, wait till you see all the ones I've cut out. I have quite a few cut out of different combos. My nieces picked them all out themselves. They came down to my room and we went through my stash. Quite the process. Can't wait to get my jelly from Emporium. Awesome, Sandra. Jelly is super, super fun. I kind of love it. I'm not going very fast, sorry. I'm um, slow moving this morning. We'll get there. I guess I'm not in a hurry. Right? I'm not in a hurry. I've actually used quite a bit of my jelly and almost need to restock, surprisingly. Not my clear vinyl, but my jelly. I've gone through quite a bit. How do you sell the vinyl? Do you mean how do you sew the vinyl, Crystal? Super quick sew, look at that. And now I'm just gonna sew all around it and box my corners and it's done. Pretty easy. Do you have a finish to show? You know what, I did, but my sister-in-law took it. <laughs> it was exactly these, um, these materials right here that I'm sewing. It was the same, same one. Um, but she really liked it, so I gave it to her. 
So I'll have a finished one to show in just a minute, actually. Where is everybody getting their jelly and TPU? I got a lot of my um, clear TPU vinyl from Zipper Valley, but I know uh, lots of places are carrying jelly and, and clear vinyl, TPU vinyl now. So, I mean, the list is probably huge. Maureen just made four peekaboo and have one more to make. I'm making them for my daughters and granddaughters. That's awesome. It is such a fun, easy bag to gift. Especially with this clear. It goes by so quick. All right, let's sew her up. Mm, that was a perfect length for my zipper too. Excuse me. My allergies are going nuts this morning. <sighs> Leslie says, I ordered from Zipper Valley again this morning and they still had a lot available. That's awesome. There you go. Go check out Zipper Valley. I know um, I just saw someone post this morning about another drop of a bunch of jelly. And I don't remember who it was. Annette says, I made peekaboos and boxy baths for my daughters this week too. <laughs> it's just that time of year, isn't it? Bye, Marilyn. Thanks for joining. All right. And now I just need to box it. And that's it, guys. Easy peasy lemon squeezy. All right, let's box it. Is the black jelly translucent like other jellies? No, this black jelly is not translucent, it is solid. And I don't, I think this whole pack that I have of jellies is from Wonderground, but it also could be Glitterbug Fairy. I think those are the two places I got all of my jelly from. But like I said, so many people have it right now. Oh, Samantha says, I've been stuck on making boxy bags and also the clearly sweet pouch that Susan made on her life. <laughs> They're just fun, especially when you're not in the mood to sew something big and complex and you want to be feel accomplished in making a bag. It's nice just to do a quick little boxy bag of some kind. All right, here we go. Hi, Lynette. Welcome.
what are you referencing when you say jellies? This black stuff here. It's a jelly vinyl. It's the same front and back. It's different than regular vinyl. That's what I'm talking about. Some people call it... Oh, what does one vendor call it? Um, gummy? Gummy vinyl? Yeah. It's just super fun to pair with clear vinyl. Because it doesn't have like a fabric base to it. And it's like a rubbery finish, I guess you would say. All right. Wonderground and Glitterbug Fairy are going to be vending in Palm Springs. There you go, Pammy. I know they will have some of this for sure. Yep. All right, one of these will go on my website for sale because I think somebody was asking for this design. So, if you have a hair dryer, it makes it a lot easier to get the um, vinyl a little hot, a little warm, to turn it and press it out. This isn't horrible, but. It would be easier if I had a hair dryer, probably. All right. Reminds me of jelly shoes when growing up. Yup, Diana, exactly. It's totally the vibe. Yep, yep, yep. All right, peekaboo bag number one. Cute, so this is what we're making. We're gonna be pumping these out. Isn't that cool? All right, let's do the next. So I've got two of that design that I've got set up here. Hi, Jeanette. Yep, this is jelly and clear vinyl. Yes, I will try. Brittany is my amazing link queen. And when the lives are done, she sends me all the links to put in the description of the video. So when this video is done, I will have a list of all the links down below in the description because Brittany is freaking amazing. <laughs> so there you go. Mickey, yes, that was quick. You could also just do, if you didn't want to piece the vinyl with the clearing, just wanted it all clear, you could just cut out one big piece and box the corners and put a zipper on it and you're done. Like, super fast if you're looking for a quick make. I'm gonna have to, after I'm done with this set, I'll have to change my thread color for the next set. I made a jelly purse pal and embroidered it. Oh, fun. I was wondering if I could embroider on it jelly. I had that thought, that's good to know. I thought, huh, that'd be pretty cool. So that's good to know. Aw, Brittany, she says, happy to help. I remember how hard it was to find all the stuff when I first started. I love 
how you're always happy to share wherever you get everything. Of course, like, we got to help each other out, right? Figure out where we're getting all of it. I don't normally keep things hidden. Love to share where I find good products. I haven't been checking to make sure my stitching's okay. Yeah, it looks good. Okay. I wonder if this clear jelly, clear and jelly vinyl dulls your needle quicker than regular materials. I would think it would. I don't know, just a thought. Did you say you need to tighten up your tension to sew on this material, Barbara? Yes. You need to tighten that top tension when you're sewing on jelly and clear vinyl. Okay. The other side here. Hi, Sandra. Greetings from Germany. Hello from Germany. Welcome, welcome. Melissa, late to the party, but made it for the end. We just started, Melissa. We just started. We're kind of doing a little clear bag marathon here, so... I'll be sewing quite a few of these, maybe, until I get tired and I'm done. So, <laughs> I'm hoping to make at least four more of these on the video. All right. Top stitcher up. And when I sew with clear and jelly, I just keep my, you'll notice I haven't changed my stitch length. I keep it the same. You don't want it super small because you don't want to cause a bunch of punctures and holes. So I keep my stitching at about 4.5 to 5 when I'm sewing uh, with any clear and jelly material. Renate, welcome. Hopefully I'm saying your name right. Barbara, I just got my baby lock accomplished and I'm anxious to start making some cute stuff like this. Yay! That's exciting. All right, let's sew this all together. can watch while I'm on the serger. Awesome, Melissa, welcome. Welcome to the show. I need to go grocery shopping when I'm done here. Need 
groceries so bad in my house after a weekend full of kids. It is empty. All right, so this up. Are you using the same thread and needle in your machine that you would use on a regular bag? Yes. Well, I did switch to a variegated text 80 from Wizardry, but I would use that on a regular bag as well. And my needle is a size 20. I think my bobbin's almost out, but we'll see. All right. The only thing you really have to adjust when sewing with these materials is your tension. Hi, Joanne from Scotland. Scotland or Scottsdale? Scotland. Okay, awesome. Hi, Sarah. I'm happy to hear that you are making more today. I missed how you did your zipper on this one. Mine was kind of funky when I made one. Okay. I will show you how I did the zipper. I kind of got it. I've kind of got it down to a science now. So I will show you on this next one that we do. All right. Box these corners. Um, Brittany, have I tried grocery delivery? Uh, yeah, I do that almost every, every time. And I was debating whether to do that or actually go to the store. We'll see. I did also start doing HelloFresh, which I have very much enjoyed because I don't have as many people home anymore, but I still want a meal and the proportions are super nice and Annabelle really likes them too. So that's been super cool to do. Oh, it's beautiful weather there today. That's awesome. We actually have the sun out today. It's a miracle here. Knock on wood. I'm sure it's going to rain later in the day, but it's nice for the <laughs> time being. Box those corners. I like to lay my seam flat when boxing these uh, corners. You can nest them if you want, but I lay mine flat. If you nest them, just make sure they're laying the same way on each side of the bag. future sponsor, <laughs> Brittany Shore. <laughs> oh man. Renee, it will rain later today. It probably will. I know. I better hurry and give my dogs a walk before it does. Actually, I might take them to the dog park. Oakley loves the dog park. What are you swagging over there? <laughs> Another peekaboo. Melissa, our weather has been wonky lately. It seems like it can't decide if it wants to be taut or cloudy or have the sun peek out. Yeah, ours is just cloudy and rainy. It doesn't want to do anything other than that. Doesn't stop my kids from going to the pool, which is hilarious. They actually want to have a pool night tonight, so we'll see how that goes. Wednesdays are pool nights with our cousins. 
whole nights in pizza. So hopefully the weather cooperates for that. All right, turn it out. Samantha, I think I got all the rain you had on Sunday money because it is always, because it has been rain nonstop Monday, Tuesday here. Yeah. 90 degrees, Barbara. See, I should be grateful. It is not 90 degrees. I think it's going to get up to 78 today is what I saw. Maybe if that. <laughs> we have had a very cool summer. It has been way colder than usual. Susan joining you on a sew together. Jadira, she probably, I don't know. We haven't discussed it recently. She is going to be coming to my house in a couple weeks and driving with me to Nashville. So well, that'll be good. Susan's been having lots of plumbing issues at her house. So her house isn't the quietest right now to do videos. She would have to go to my mom's most likely. The heat index here, Amelia Island, Florida, 101. Ugh, that's gross. <laughs> See, I'm kind of grateful for my weather. All right, nut bag number two, done. Two of those suckers, all done. I think one's for Charlotte and I'm gonna list the other one on my website. All right, so I need to, I'm gonna work on the triplets ones now. So this is one of them. I'm trying to see if I can do the same color of thread. I could use a green, although I don't want to. Um, what color of thread should I use, guys? Ooh, I'm going to use the caramel, which matches my zipper tape, which matches this. I'm going to use the caramel. All right. I need to change my thread. All right. So bear with me. We have to do this a couple times during this live. I may have to change my tension after this too, just because I'm switching weights. I think I'm gonna keep my size 20 needle in because that's that'll probably be fine. And then I don't know if I have a bobbin. Oh, I do. I have a full on bobbin. Perfect. It's been pretty here in Montana. Oh, I love Montana. I love Montana. I need to go visit my friend there. I need some Montana time. It makes me happy. All right. I guess I could have kept that purple in, huh? But I kind of think this would be cool if it matches the zipper tape. So we're just going to do this. And I'm trying to think. I think I could do, ooh, I think I could do that one too. Let me grab the other. Other one I'm thinking of. Beautiful. Let me just test this real quick since it's a different weight of thread. Sorry, pull you back in here. I didn't realize it was still up. Let me just test this. Looks good. All right, we're ready to rock and roll. So let me grab, I think I'm gonna use this thread on another one over here. Yes. Mm, yeah, that'd be cool. Let's do it on these ones too. Wouldn't that thread look good with this too? Yep. All right. I'm going to put those right there and I'll do those next. 
Yeah, I like to do a contrast thread on the jelly. I don't like to do the same color. And then, ah, uh, I made little, for my nieces, I made the jelly tassel pulls for their bags because I thought that would be fun. Okay, I'm gonna do the zipper first because somebody was asking about how I do the zipper. Now, this is just for these jelly ones. I have learned if you cut it at 14 and a fourth. Okay. I'm going to do that. And then I like to measure down an inch right here. And then I'm going to do the turn on it. Are those zipper pulls on your site? I only found the clips. Um, Oh, that's a great question. I may be, may be out of them. I'll have to check. They may be gone. I need to reorder some. I was just thinking that today while I was getting these out. I found these in my personal stash and I'm like, oh, I wonder if I have these on the website. They might not be on the website anymore. I'll have to reorder them because I am kind of loving them lately. <sighs> Okay, so we are gonna do this zipper. So I do that 90 degree turn first. And I'm probably going to go ahead and sew these other ones up that I'm gonna use this thread with too. So we'll do three total right here and get those out of the way. Since we're gonna use all the same thread. Annette, um, if you just placed an order, I'll try and see if I have some and I'll sneak it in there. Let me know what finish you were wanting. All right. And now that should be the correct length for my bag. I'm just gonna put this zipper pull on here. I don't use a zipper jig or some kind of zipper helper. I have just learned to do it myself. I have a certain way to hold it. Like it just comes kind of natural for me now. All right, I'm gonna measure it. Oh, uh, I just need to trim it like the tiniest bit it looks like. I want it at 13 and a quarter is the good length for this jelly bag. All right, and then I'm going to get my zipper tab and sew that on. Um, you know what? I don't think I'm gonna use any tape. I'm just going to clip it on and hold it into place. It's because the tape, you can kind of see through it with this clear stuff. So it'd be nice if I didn't have to have any tape need to hold it in place. There we go. And my zipper tabs, I cut one by one and a half, and then I just trim down the sides a little bit, just like that. Okay. There is that zipper. I'm gonna go ahead and do the zippers for these other two cute bags right here while I'm at it, okay? So let's do two more zippers. I'm gonna cut this at 14 this time and see if that's a better, better length. And there is multiple ways to do this. You could do zipper tabs on both ends. There's different ways to do the turn. I'm just showing you the way that I'm comfortable with. So there you go. Um, you want to see how I put my zipper pull on again. I got zipper tape yesterday and tried to put the pull on and I'm not having much luck. Okay, Barbara, Barbara with this next one, I'll try and get close in on the camera 
and show you a little bit more closer up how I did it, okay? All right, I'm gonna do the turn first. So I measure an inch down evenly. Shannon from Knotted Threads at the Wizardry Retreat showed us a different way of doing this, which was super cool, but I don't remember <laughs> how. It was cool. You like, I think you fold it down here and get this nice and straight here. And then you fold it like that. Oh yeah, that's it. And that gives you a perfect little, and then you don't have the overhang. So if you know the exact length and that takes away what? That takes away about a half inch. That really does do a nice job. Maybe I'll try it on that way. I'll show you how I did that again. And then you don't have to trim anything down and it's just perfectly folded. Okay, so I made sure it was straight cut, cut across. You want to fold the top of this to the side of your zipper right here. Okay, right here. And then you're gonna take this top part and you're gonna fold it down to be even with the side of your zipper again, just like that. And then it doesn't give you any of that extra overhang there and you're not cutting any zipper off. That's how Shannon from Knotted Threads did it. Look at that, that's pretty cool too. <clears throat> <laughs> yes, Annette, you do. <laughs> All right, here we go. And then you still baste it like the normal, you know, zipper. And then I'll have to trim my other end down because I didn't, you know, account for doing it this way. <laughs> but that was a cool method that she showed. I was like, oh, that's cool. Like I said, there's, I think there's three different ways to do this that I've seen. I'm surprised I remembered how to do that. All right, see, and then you don't have any extras. It's just folded, it's done. Super pretty and cute. All right, I think I'm gonna have to trim this down now though. Yep, not by much. About right there. And another fourth of an inch maybe was all. Hey, you're welcome, Patty. Put my pole on. All right, here we go. I'm gonna try and show you how I put my pole on. So I just separated a little bit. I hold it with my thumb and my finger, okay? Those are what's bracing this zipper. I put this right side in about halfway. And then I move this one in and slide it up in there. And once I've got that, I hold it with my thumb and my finger and I turn it up so I can see my teeth. And then if it's not lined up in here, you're going to wiggle it up on the right side and that brings the teeth down on that side and lines it up with the left. And you just wanna kind of look and see, do you see how now it's lined up? And then you just pull it on. Uh, it's practice. I, it took me a while. It took me a while to learn how to do that so quickly. So don't get frustrated. All right, so we're gonna put our zipper tab on the other end and do the other one. I'm gonna do tape on this one because you can't see through the black very. Okay. Jadira, I know, it's cool how people come up with different ways, isn't it? I love it, I love learning new, new ways to do things. So is Shannon's method, how long is a zipper to start? 
Yeah, so I would do um, 14 instead of 14 and a quarter if you're doing Shannon's weight because I had to trim down about a quarter of an inch. You want your zipper to be... Well, I want my zipper on these to be about 13 and a quarter. I've decided is my length for these. Um, so that's going to be my ending measurement. Hi, Cindy. Welcome. All right. Another zipper done. I'm going to go ahead, too, and mark my centers. Let's just get all this. Let's just get all this out of the way. I'm not clipping my zipper just because it's a clear pouch and you only sew it once and I don't really want that clip to be in there. So I'm just marking it with a pen. I'm gonna do the same for this one. All right, one more zipper. Let's do it. Now, I'm going to, okay, I'm going to try Shannon's. Oh, no, I already marked it. <clears throat> yeah, I'm going to try Shannon's method. I'll do it down on this end, though. We're going to trim ours down. Let's trim it down to 14. Oh, it is trimmed down to 14. <laughs> it's trimmed to 14. All right, so let's do Shannon's um, version. So you want this to be pretty straight across. Let's try this one more time. Okay. Split it. <clears throat> You're going to fold this teeth side down here. Okay. So your top and your side are lining up right here, right there. And then you're going to pinch this and you're going to bring it down to the edge there. I don't know if you guys are seeing this on camera very well. And then you put a pin. <laughs> Susan says, fun fact, when I search Saya Swag on YouTube, Saya the Clown always comes up as an option. I think you missed your real career. What? <laughs> That's awesome. All right, so let's do that again. We'll take this side. We'll bring it down so the top of the zipper matches with the side right here, okay? And then you're going to take that and bring it down again and line it up with your side. Pretty cool. Pretty cool. All right. What does that make this zipper? Oh, it's still a quarter of an inch too long. So just trim it down. So start with your zipper at 13 and three fourths if you're doing this method. Yep. All right, let's do it. Susan, people were asking where you were at. I told them probably in the middle of a plumbing nightmare with your house. <clears throat> this would be a good bag for Susan to sew. Hi, Michelle. Welcome. All right. Thank you for the new order I just received here in Dubai of your gorgeous thread. Love the pen and sticker. Have quite a few now. Oh, I'm glad. Glad you got everything. Melting some threads there. All right, I'm going to add my zipper pull. I'm going to show you guys the zipper pull one more time. <laughs> Susan, I was actually at the park playing Frisbee golf with Abba. She beat me, but it was still fun. That's awesome. All right, so I pulled it apart. I'm going to put 
one side. I always go with my right side because it's just the way that I have done it. Okay, and then I'm gonna take this, slide it in, turn it up and kind of wiggle it till the teeth are aligned. Nope, let's try it again. See, it takes me a couple times too sometimes. One more. Come on. This one's being difficult. There we go. Are we even? Nope, we're not even. Do you see how it's kind of wonky? So I gotta take it back up. And my left side needs to go up and my right side needs to go down. I'm just gonna err right there. Nope. It's because I'm trying to show you guys. Ah, there we go. Now I've got it. Much better. All right, let's add my tab. How do you know what side to do the 45 degree thingy and which side to pull to pull it on? You mean the turn I just did, Susan? Um, it doesn't matter which end of the zipper you do it on. You're gonna do it on the opposite end of wherever your pull is gonna slide on. Does that make sense? And then you're pulling the side with the zipper teeth you're pulling the zipper teeth down to the side first. I oddly want to make some zippers now. <laughs> That's funny. Just go fold a bunch of zippers. Go do it. Hi, Martina. Welcome. Can you use a staple instead of a pen, Carol? Um, yeah, you probably could just be careful when you take that staple out that you're not ripping your zipper tape. I would be a little concerned about putting holes in my zipper tape because I don't want it to fray, I guess would be my only concern. Susan, you don't have to do the 90 degree turn for this pouch. You can just put zipper tabs on both ends of your zipper if you wanted to. I just like to do a turn on one side because I like my pouch to open all the way. So it's up to you. Sherry, I have not given it to her yet because I haven't seen her. Sherry got you a zipper jig. Susan, I have it here at the house waiting for you. Annette, if you are opening from left to right, it's the turn will be on the left, yes. Yeah, you want your turned edge to be on the left side of your pouch. <clears throat> left side, Susan, sorry. Okay, let's do this. I've got three zippers all done. Let's start just batch sewing these. Here we go. So this pouch is super easy. You have six pieces total plus a zipper tab. So I have two of these and four of these jellies. And you're just going to attach them to the sides. Turn and top stitch. Do that four times. And then I like to top stitch towards the jelly because then you can't see that seam behind your material. It's not as obvious. Hi Val. 
Welcome. That's the clear I use for my daughter's peekaboo. Yay, yeah, this is Zipper Valley. This is a Zipper Valley vinyl. I think all the vinyls I'm using for these pouches are Zipper Valley. Actually. Hi, Sharon. Charlene, I love your videos. Never miss a day. Thank you. I appreciate that. Thank you so much. What did Susan say? Okay, thanks. I think I may try it. It turns out, if it turns out, I'll post a picture. If not, we'll pretend this conversation never happened. <laughs> Susan, do you still have uh, materials to do it? I need to just start every time I make an order for myself, place one for Susan and send it to her too. <laughs> what conversation, Brittany said. <laughs> oh, you guys are funny. All right, I'm just clipping my center real quick right now so I get that out of the way. All right. Next here. Aw, thanks, Sharon. I appreciate that. <clears throat> Stacy says, Kasai, is that another new tattoo on your left wrist? It's um, no, I got it a while ago. It's matching. It's a Colorado one. It's upside down. I can't. Ooh. But it matches with my son. I have matching tattoos with my kids. <laughs> Just little tiny ones. They really wanted me to do it with them. So this one's matching with David. Where is your next Sewing the States, Terry? Our next one is with Nicole Lewis in... Well, I think it's just right outside of St. Is it St. Louis, Susan? Right outside of St. Louis on our way to Nashville. We're going to stop at her house and we're going to sew the Brooklyn Traveler, which I have not made in a while. So I'm going to be cutting one out. I just got um, Heidi just sent me projector files for the Brooklyn that I'm going to try to cut out and use. I'm going to do a video with it. So we'll see. <laughs> we'll see how that goes. Yeah, just outside of St. Louis, June 28th. So we'll be doing, we have some behind the scenes stuff that only Patreon members will see for that. But we will um, stream to everybody the live of the Sewing the State Sew. So if you want to see some more fun behind the scenes stuff, go check out the Patreon. The Patreon pretty much is just a way to help support the Sewing the States ventures. Sharon, it, I hope it's fun trying the projector. It'll be fun or it'll, it'll be a disaster. <laughs> I'm not sure, but we're going to try it. I used that vinyl print for crossbody bag for a gift. That's awesome, Mary. <clears throat> yeah, the Brooklyn's super fun. It's one of the first videos, like, I want to say one of, like, the second or third videos I did on my channel. So, I mean, it's been quite a while since I've made one, but I do enjoy the Brooklyn. It is a good bag. All right, you'll learn with me, that's right. All right, and then I wanna put a little tag on this. I just pulled, I just pulled a bunch because I wasn't sure. Oh, huh, look at that, that matches perfect. We're gonna do that. We're gonna go with that. That's cute. I'm gonna put a tag on this. Mm -hmm. We're going to do it about right. 
there maybe. That looks good. Okay. Can't really use metal tags on these bags, so I use my Heartwood and Hide sew-in ones, which I love. Susan, yeah, that would be awesome if we could set up a meetup for Tennessee. We're trying to figure that out. So Susan's got some fun ideas for that. So if you aren't on my Facebook group, go join my Facebook group because I will be posting lots of updates and stuff on that. So make sure that you are on that. All right, I'm just going to go ahead and finish this one up. Oh yeah, we'll definitely do a walkthrough like we always do with all the vendors and all that kind of fun stuff. That will be on my YouTube channel. We'll do that live. That's always fun. We'll have some behind the scenes. It's me, Susan, and Abigail driving my car with a trailer <laughs> uh, to Tennessee. So we'll have lots of fun clips and behind the scenes for that. And then uh, when we get to Nashville, Leslie is joining us. So it should be a fun week. I'm excited. I'm stressed, but I'm excited. Like always. Thank you, Janet. Janet says, love my videos. Thank you. Uh, Susan, if you want to go to Texas this winter, I forgot you live in the desert. It'll be fine. <laughs> yeah. I would like to go to Texas and get out of the cold. <laughs> Susan already lives in the desert. Although it gets pretty chilly in St. George. Um, yeah, it gets pretty chilly. My zipper maybe could be a fourth of an inch longer. So your zipper probably could be about 13 and a half total. I just didn't want to fight with it in my seam allowance, you know? Yeah, we really do hope to make it to all 50 states, guys. We're not just saying that. Like, it's actually a true goal of ours. It's so funny when I talk to new people and tell them what I do and then tell them why I'm traveling places to sew in people's houses. <laughs> they think I'm kind of crazy. <laughs> That's fine. You guys know. <laughs> All right. Beyond would be great, Annette, wouldn't it? And beyond. <clears throat> Hello, Lisa. We're just we're just production line sewing some some clear peekaboos. You're good.
They just don't get us, no. People think I'm a little strange when they meet me. <laughs> you imagine telling people if you're me and they say, what do you do for a living? It's an interesting conversation. Rhode Island. Oh my gosh. Betsy, that would be so awesome. I'm excited. I've never really been to the East Coast other than North and South Carolina and Florida. I really am excited to do all the upper East Coasts. Yeah, it is an interesting career for sure. Not one that I ever would have thought I would do, but I enjoy it so much. Yep. The fact that I can have fun and actually pay my bills at the same time is amazing. It is amazing. I'm doing a motorcycle road trip right now and I'm hitting as many northeastern states as I can. That's awesome. How fun. <laughs> Linda, Kasaya is an influencer and she influences me by to buy many sewing supplies all the time with her wonderful videos. <laughs> That's funny, Linda. Have you been to the Northwestern Florida Panhandle? No, I have not. I don't believe I have. I've mainly only been to Orlando and then Fort Myers. My grandma and grandpa used to do winters in Fort Myers, but I think those are the only places I've been actually in Florida. I haven't done too much exploring. Hi from Virginia. Hi, Tammy. Blue is your color, Lisa. It is, yeah, this is really pretty. One of my nieces picked this one out. Blue is her color too. All right, let's sew her up. I do a 3 8 inch seam allowance on this finishing last one. So just in case you all were wondering. But everything else to put this bag together was a quarter of an inch. While you were on the East Coast, you should check out Virginia Beach area. I live 45 minutes from there. That's awesome, Gloria. I do love a good beach. I do, I do. Then come so with me. <laughs> oh, awesome.
I would enjoy your job too. Sewing and knitting are both my passions. Sewing has always been my first love, making quilts and now getting into bag making. That's awesome, Sharon. It's awesome when your passion can become something that you get to do all the time and it still is fun. It hasn't lost its, hasn't lost its spark for me, which is awesome. It started to, and then Susan jumped in and helped me out. <laughs> Barbara, when people ask me about my sewing, I just tell them I'll be useful to be around when the zombie apocalypse comes because I can make things. <laughs> That's awesome. That's awesome. goodness. My daughter's home. Dogs are barking. We'll see if she comes and says hi to me or not. All right, let's do this. I need a Susan too. <laughs> Feels overwhelming sometimes. Yes, for sure. I am. You can come say hi, though. How are you? Yeah? I put all your towels in the dryer. Mm-hmm. Did you not start No, I've done ran it twice. Oh, they're still wet. Really? Yeah. Huh. Is the dryer broken? Try it again. Yeah, I ran it last night and then again this morning. <clears throat> Can you close that door, please? Yeah. Thank you. I'm gonna go to work. You going to work? Which one? Black Rock? Yeah. Till when? Till four. Okay, and then will you be home tonight? We're doing pole and pizza with the cousins. Okay. okay? Love you. Love you. All right. Hi, Marlene. Hi, boobers. and pizza yes Susan we've declared Wednesday nights with the triplets pull and pizza night because <laughs> I always get them back Wednesday nights <laughs> Cindy that daughter is 17 <gasps> done with another one. Ah, oh, so cute all right number three done moving on that one's 17 and she has two jobs currently. She works at Crumble Cookie and at Black Rock Coffee Bar. Making the money, I need to get a drink. Oh, my throat is dry. All right, here we go. Next, look how cute this one is with the mushrooms, isn't that cute? Is your 17-year-old as crazy as mine? Amy, yes. I mean, all 17-year-olds are, right? She's good. She's a good kid. Is she moody? Yes. That's because she's a 17-year-old girl. 
because she's actually a really good kid. I'm gonna go ahead and just clip both sides on real quick. Let's be smarter about this. I'm used to only making one at a time. This batch sewing isn't really something that I'm used to. <laughs> Carol, I'm doing the Peekaboo Beauty Bag from Warmino in clear and jelly vinyl. So it's simplified quite a bit, and it's already a simple bag. I got spoiled with my son when he was a teen because he was super chill. I think she's making up for him. Yeah, Amy, that's really funny because my son, David, who is two years older than Annabelle, same thing, super chill, easy kid, was always pretty pleasant. Yeah, and they're night and day. So I get that 100%. Hi, Sharon. Gloria says, starting to teach my oldest granddaughter to sew. I got her her own sewing machine. That's awesome. That's great. How old are the triplets, Terry? They're 13. They are 13 year old girls and they hang out with my 12 and 10 year old quite a bit. They are, they are the five, I don't know, amigos. <laughs> Boys and girls are very different to raise. Yes, they are. They are very different. I agree. Um, what do I want? That's kind of cute, but maybe I want, ooh, no. I don't know, guys. What do I want on this? Oh, that's kind of cute. Actually, I'll do that one. Of that, yeah. I think I'm actually gonna do two inches down on this one. I, think I might like that better. <clears throat> yep, Susan, they're 13. The vinyl reminds you of Care Bears, <laughs> yeah, a little bit. All right, so that tag on. Next thing. Hi, 
How long have we been doing this? All right, I'm gonna cut it off at two hours. So we'll see how much more we can get done. We got about 30 minutes. Mostly because I'm starving <laughs> I want to go eat. <laughs> All I had this morning was a protein shake and a V8. And I want to go make a meal. And my kids are coming home probably soon. All that kind of good stuff. And I'm going to go play with my embroidery machine. Yay! We'll see if I can figure it out. This one's cute. I think I'm going to list one of these ones on my website, this mushroom one. I'm gonna list this on my website. Beautiful. Let's do the other two. I used every scrap piece of black vinyl for these, or black jelly. I'm all out of black, I'm kinda sad. Kinda love the black jelly. I'm gonna have to order more. You can see right here, <laughs> see? I barely scraped by with this piece, but it's gonna get caught in that seam allowance and it'll be fine, I hope. I think it'll be fine. Amanda says, I got a new cover stitch machine. I still have yet to try it out. A color block sweater will be my first sewing project for that. That's awesome. Maybe a little too ambitious, but we'll see. I think you can do it. You can do it. Why not? What embroider machine did I get? Barbara, I got the Ricoma 10 needle. I forget all the different numbers with it. <laughs> the Ricoma, something, 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 something. Um, yeah, it's a big guy. And I haven't, I've only done training on it. I haven't actually made anything with it, but a couple nights ago, I bought a bunch of embroidery files to try. I bought a poop bag embroidery file to try. I got my Needle Ninja digitized. And um, we're going to try and make some stuff. I'm excited. Anne says, I like, really like the idea of that bag with clear vinyl and such cute prints. Is this vinyl and jelly domestic friendly? Yes, you definitely need a Teflon foot um, for sewing with this, especially on a domestic, either a Teflon or a walking. 
but it should be domestic machine friendly. It's not too thick because you don't have to put a lot of layers together when you're doing this. Very simple. Lisa, I'm currently working on H2O to Ghostlings, making eight. Holy cow. Yeah, that's a lot. That's going to be awesome. Hi, Janine. Welcome. Welcome, welcome. I need to have a welcome song, Susan. Make a welcome song for me when people come on. <laughs> EM1010. Thank you, Barbara. Yes, that is the one I got. <laughs> EM1010. Uh, yes, that is the one I got. I need to remember that. So many machines and model numbers to remember. How is jelly different than vinyl? Um, it's it's the same material front and back. It's like a rubbery type of material. Some of it is translucent, some of it isn't. Um, and it does not fray at all. So you can use it like this clear vinyl. It is, it's just a totally different feel than regular vinyl. And don't ever be afraid to ask questions here. There are no dumb questions, trust me. You are welcome. Judy, I've watched a lot of your videos, but this is my first live. That's awesome. Welcome, Judy. We're just kind of chatting and sewing right now. I want to see all the clear peekaboos on my Facebook after this. Everybody go make one. If you have the stuff, I guess. Uh, um, waterproof canvas. Does that go well with jelly? Yeah, I would imagine it does. All right, I need to put another tag on this one. Let's get another tag. I just kind of grabbed all these. Oh, let's do that one. Yes, I like that one. Do these products have more of a rubber smell? No, Sharon. They don't really have a smell that I know of. I haven't noticed, at least. All right, let's put, ah, let's put this tag on. Sorry, it lets my sons through when they call. One, two, right there. Okay. My son David always calls me when he's walking to the gym. So he's probably walking to the gym right now, calling his mommy. He's a good boy. <laughs> My friend Missy, who um, works on filling all your orders and stuff now, always laughs because she's always here when they call me. She's like, your boys call you a lot. And I'm like, I know they do. I'm totally grateful for that. They love their mommy. I have a flat bed, bed, bleh, flat bed brother, 1600. If you need any advice on websites to check out, let me know. 
awesome. Tried Lauren's idea for peekaboo of painting the central panel with fabric paint. My son supervised his four kids. Four ring circus. <laughs> That's awesome. <clears throat> all right. All done. How was the Tesla ride with Missy? Annette, it was awesome. Her little car is super fun. Boys are amazing, Sharon. I love my boys so much. I love my girls too. But I do love my boys. Carol, my daily job is working on a conso industrial about eight hours or more. It is always fun to get on a live and hear your industrial humming along with mine. That's awesome. <laughs> we can do it together. There is something soothing about coming down and just sewing, isn't there? It just kind of makes me happy sometimes. All right, here we go. Let's put these bad boys together. I like that I already did the zippers. I'm gonna do that on all of them. I'll do the zippers first. Get that out of the way. It's like doing straps first, right? Jeannie, I'm in need of a crossbody that is small enough for a wallet and foam plus a water bottle. Any suggestions? Hmm. I really like the um, sophisticated hip bag. It's really, I wear it as a crossbody and it fits a water bottle, my wallet, and a couple other things. And it's kind of perfect. I like the medium size the best, but I'm sure other people have lots of fabulous suggestions as well. And uh, my son calls me a couple times a week. I love it. Yep. My David calls me when he's walking to or from the gym. <laughs> and Sebastian calls me almost every day on his way home from work. They're good kids. Making sure their mom is okay. I lucked out in the kid department. <laughs> Mine are kind of awesome. Oh, the river walk. Yeah, that would be a great one. Thanks, Brittany. That's a good idea. Did I put the center on this one? No, I did not. Yay. 
kind of nice batch sewing and not really having to look at directions at all and just kind of creating. It's kind of relaxing. All right, here we go. Gotta go make my 91-year-old father-in-law lunch. Oh, Linda, thanks for joining. Have a good day. We're about done over here too. You mentioned earlier where you got your sewing tags. Um, Heartwood and Hyde, Barbara. Jade at Heartwood and Hyde. I think there's a waiting list, but she does amazing work and you will not be disappointed. She's super awesome to work with. She's a great person. Her and her husband are the company and they are, they make phenomenal tags. I'm pretty sure Jade will be at Nashville SME. Just cruising right along with these you guys. Pretty awesome. See my my piece is a little shorter right there because I was trying really hard to get one more piece out of this black, so it'll be fine. Make up for it in the seam allowance, and it'll be good. Hello, gypsy woman. Brittany is amazing with how fast she throws up those links. I know. Gloria, I know. Everybody needs a Brittany. Four reels. Do I have a video for the saddle bag? I don't I don't know. I don't I don't think so. I don't know who that's by. I don't recall making a video for a pattern called the saddlebag. Yeah, the positive vibes only that I put on the first bags is Heartwood and Hyde too. They have just like cute sayings and stuff. They're not all personalized. So if you just want some cute tags to throw on stuff, they have some for retail on her website. And she does a new tag drop every Friday, I believe, which is super awesome. And I'm super impressed that she can do that. <laughs> Hi, Janet. Do you have a video? Oh, from Glenn Willow. No, I don't. I've never 
done that one. I haven't heard of that one. Glen Willow. I'll have to check that out. Saddlebag from Glen Willow. Okay. I'll check it out. Karina, I just made my first leather Mav. No lining, no pockets. That's awesome, Karina. Carol says, working with Jade as we speak. She's great and so patient. Yes, she is. She's so awesome. I'm doing kits, hardware kits for SME Nashville. And um, I have heartwood and hide tags to put in them. I'm so excited about that. They're really cute. Yeah, she has a weight just because she has so many custom tags. So there is a weight, but it is worth it. Because once you get in and she makes your tags and she's got you in her system, it's super easy for her to make you more. So you'll never have to wait twice. The weight is only once. Yeah, um, Jolie Lee has custom zipper overlays that you can put your name or some kind of cute saying on as well. And those are really awesome too. I did that on my last tutorial for the Shambhala bag. I put one of her overlays on my bag. Done with number what? Number four. Have you ever sewn a conceal and carry bag? No, but I know there are, um, Brittany, I know there are designers out there who do have patterns for conceal and carries. But I have never made one. Hi, Amber. Better late than never, right? It's all good. All right, I'm gonna finish this other one here and then I'm gonna be done for now because I am losing, I can feel myself getting hangry. <laughs> Susan knows <gasps> what that means. I need food. I do not do well without food. All right. cute. That one's really cute. All right. Let's finish this last one. You cut my center. I did. All right. Here we go. Jade will help you custom design your tags. Yes. If you don't really have a design, but you have like an idea, she can help you figure that out and help design it. Yes. I'm pretty sure. Which is super awesome.
Okay. Um, can I ask how much would those sale for? Super cute. Jan Janet, you're talking about these bags? I mean, that price point really just depends on the person. <laughs> it really does. I think I'll probably list these between, I don't know, between 40 and 50 because the materials themselves are not cheap. These are not cheap materials to get and you have to consider the time. So I would probably do, yeah, maybe 42, 42 per bag. That's probably what I would list it as. Don't, you know, that doesn't mean that's what you have to price it as. Pricing such an individual thing, it's hard to have a set guideline for handmade things. It really is. Bye, Jane. Thanks for joining. Have a good day. You just had your heat press delivered? That's awesome. All right. On this side. Karina, super true. Super, super true. She says price should vary from the skill set on the maker. I agree. I agree. That's why I'm like, you can't really give a set price for things to people because it just depends on multiple variables, variable, variables. It's a mouthful. All right, here we go. Yeah, heat press is amazing. It's a great tool to have. Susan, stop it. You would not price yours at five dollars. <laughs> oh yeah, yeah, yeah. Thinking of a heat press, which one did you buy? There are so many different heat presses out there too. And a lot of them are good. Mine's from Amazon. I like it. It's not like it's good for the money that I spent on it. The peekaboo I made, I added a wrist strap to attach. Yep. A wrist strap would be super cute on this as well. I know, right, Annette? Susan's just silly. Stretch, y'all. How many more do I have to make? One, two, three, 
Oh, I only have three more. That's pretty good. Ah, oh, that's awesome. I could get that done later. Three more. And I have some for my website. It's perfect. just have to box up my corners. Here we go. Let's do it. You guys. Where are you gonna put, where would you put the wristlet strap? Just in the side seam. Yeah, these are great gifts. Hi, Charlie. <laughs> My nails look great. You almost didn't notice them. Ah! I think you're being sarcastic. I'm doing neon nails all summer. I told you guys that. I am keeping true on that. Could I use WPC on the ends instead of jelly? Yep, you totally could. Any, If you're doing it this way, any non-fraying material, you could even use vinyl as long as you don't mind the inside of the vinyl being the inside of your bag. Um, yep. Thinking of making some peekaboos as a sew retreat surprise gifts. That's awesome. Sally Sue, are you using the original pattern dimensions? Yes, I am. Um, 
I'm not so sarcastic about them being great. I love that color. Thank you, Charlie. I do too. All right, you guys, I only have one, two, I think only three more, but I'm, I'm done. I'll have to sew those another time. I'm going to show you what I made though. One, two, look at the tassel. The tassel's super cute on this bag. Okay, one, two, three. <laughs> Four five. Look at that. Yay. We did it. We did five. That's pretty good. Five total and three more to go. So I'll do the three more another time. I'm hangry. I need food. I need a, some water. I need to take my dogs to the dog park. All that kind of good stuff. So thanks for joining me guys and keeping me company while I sewed these up. And yeah. I hope you guys all have a fabulous, what's today? Wednesday? I hope you have a fabulous Wednesday and we'll see you guys later. Bye.